الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير وبك نستعينه يا فتاه يا فتاه يا فتاه اللهم فقهنا في الدين آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you all are doing good uh, our today's lesson is uh, uh, conjugations or self kabir of afal naqisa afal naqisa as you know uh, we uh, you learn in previous lesson lesson 52 kana wa ahwatuha kana and its sisters kana is incomplete fail uh, that's why it has a, a, a different grammatical rule and other incomplete uh, af afal uh, that are uh, uh, that those have the same grammatical implication they are grouped together and you learn the uh, these in previous lesson lesson 52 and these are uh, this is the same table that you learn in uh, in the last lesson so this one there are 13 uh, 13 afal naqsa uh, group together and they are kana laisa sara walla asbaha adha amsa bata and ma zala ma dama ma baraha ma fata and ma anfaka uh, alhamdulillah we learned uh, all these uh, these uh, afal naqsa um in previous lesson and we also learned that the because this is an incomplete fail so um the sentence in which these of all come they are uh, those sentences are uh, are termed as jumla ismiya not jumla failure so here are the sum here is the summary uh of previous lesson that we did last time uh so uh, let me let me go through the summary first. So whenever Kana and sisters are in a sentence, they are th treated as Jumla Ismiya. So the sentences in which Kana and sisters come, uh, those sentences are Jumla Ismiya. And you know the doer of Kana, though it's a, it's an incomplete fail, but it's still it's a fail. So the doer of Kana, is not called file it is called the ism of kana and you know ism of kana kana plus ism of kana together make mubtada of the sentence so uh, the doer of kana is called is ismu kana or if it's a doer of asbaha then is ismu asbaha if it's it's a doer of dalla then ism of ismu zalla and you know the rules for ism of kana are same as the rules for file so in a regular fail you have inside doer outside doer in regular fail uh, you have uh, present tense past tense so the same way you will have conjugations of past tense for kana asbaha laisa uh, so these rules are same and kana and its ism are always the of, of uh, kana and it, its ism uh, make the muptada of the sentence and uh, ism of kana is always marfu right ism of kana is marfu and the detail of kana is called khab, khabr it's khabr it's not called the maful but it is called Khabru kana, the detail of kana. And that detail is nasb in its status, mansub. So khabar of kana or khabar of laisa or khabar of asbaha, any, any uh, uh, felinakis in the group, khabar of that uh, felinakis is, uh, is mansub. And there can be a um, uh, mutalik bil khabar in the same sentence, and the rules are the same as normal jumla ismiya. So here uh, you can see that jumla ismiya, uh, in jumla ismiya, you have, uh, excuse me, 
in jumla uh, in a jumla with the afal naqisa you have mubtada in the form of the afal naqisa in the form of afal let me let me take the marker so mubtada is afal naqis fail naqis plus its ism so that that is mubtada and then the khabar is uh, uh, an ism which is in nasb status which is the detail of the of kana and then uh, mutalib al khabar can be half of jar fragment or zarf fragment a special mudaf of time and place so this is the summary of previous uh, lesson uh, and then let's go uh, to the next uh, let, let's revise uh, what you learn in uh, about inside and outside doer before we go to the conjugate today's topic which is conjugation of uh, fal naqisa just uh, recall that uh, the uh, the rules for doer is say uh, the, the rule for a uh, rule for ismu kana is the same as the rules for doer of any fail so you can have um, inside doer in the form of hua and hia, but if you find uh, um, uh, the fail in the form of hua and hia, then you can have an outside doer too, which is in rafa status. Okay, but other than hua and hia form, uh, the pronoun that is there uh, inside the fail is gonna be your is ismukana so the pronoun that 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 is there in inside the fail like uh kanu in kanu you have vowel jama because it's a fele um, madin jama uh, it's a plural masculine plural masculine uh, form kanu so vow in that kanu is the um, is the ism of kana so th that's how we are going to learn to, uh, this is uh, this is the thing we, we are going to learn today uh, how uh, in conjugation you can identify uh, the ism of kana or ism of laisa or ism of asbaha so this is uh, the con these conjugations we call uh, as Surf Kabir. So Surf Kabir includes the Fele Madi, Fele, uh, fele Mudare, uh, Fele Madi, past tense, Fele Mudare, present tense, then commanding fail also, and um, forbidding form also. And uh, when you have a present tense regular form, then you, uh, uh, in Surf Kabir, you are going to see the light and the lightest form also. So in present tense, which is fele mudare, uh, you are going to have fele mudare uh, marfu, which is regular form, and mansub and majzum also. Fele mudare marfu, uh, mansub and majzum also. So let's take the, uh, the first one, which is the most common one, kana. So here you have uh, the surf kabir of fele madin, or kana. So, hua kana, huma kana, hum kanu, hiya kanat, huma kanata, hunna kunna, anta kunta, antuma kuntuma, antum kuntum, anti kunti, antuma kuntuma, antunna kuntunna, ana kuntu, and nahnu kunna. So this is the surf kabir for uh, past tense, kana past tense. And I would recommend for uh, this lesson, you are uh, every, every, for every slide, you are going to pause the uh, video and uh, say these chart two times yourself so that you become familiar with the, these conjugations. So every time uh, I go to the ne uh, next slide, I go to the uh, new slide, you are going to pause this, that slide and say uh, the whole chart two times yourself, okay? So let's go to, uh, let's see the present tense. For, uh, Sarf Kabir of uh, Kana, present tense. 
huwa yakunu huma yakunani hum yakununa hiya takunu huma takunani hunna yakunna anta takunu antuma takunani antum takununa anti takunina antuma takunani antunna takunna ana akunu nahnu nahnu nakunu so this is the uh, saf kabir of kana and you can see that uh, the the uh, afalu afalu arba the five in your pocket who yakunu takunu takunu akunu nakunu so all have dhamma at the end that's why this this form the regular form of fail mudare is called um, fail mudare marfu and you have uh, the afalul khamsa yakunani yakununa uh, takunu uh, all uh, afalul khamsa with noon at the end uh, noon at the end noon at the end yakunani takunani yakununa takunani uh, takununa and you have the yakunna and takunna they are mabni just recall what you learned in present tense a regular light and lightest form in regular form you have the noon at the end okay in uh, present tense regular form which is fele mudare marfu you have the noon at the end in these uh, siga the afalul khamsa Okay, again, you are going to pause it and say the, say, the whole chart two times. And this is for regular uh, present tense. Now, the next chart. Here we have a uh, past tense, present tense together. We all, uh, you already did. We already went through this. And now the commanding. Commanding, you know, uh, for commanding and forbidding, only uh, the... Um, we have only six forms because commanding and forbidding can be done only for someone who is present. So anta and anti, anta, antuma, and antum, and anti, and antuma, and antunna. In these six uh, sira, we have commanding and forbidding uh, form. So uh, kun, una, unu. So singular. Dual and plural. Kun, kuna, and kunu. Kunu you will find uh, uh, um, in Quran several times. You, you might have seen, seen kunu. Kunu qawamina bil qist. So kunu. And then uh, forbidding la takun, la takuna, la takunu. Right? Uh, the same way for uh, feminine. Because uh, the regular form is takunina. So you re remove the ta and then you make it the light lightest. So, so you remove the noon also. Then it becomes kuni. Ta is gone. Noon is gone. Kuni. So kuni, kuna, kunna. Okay. The same way for bidding. La takun, la takuna, la takunu. La takuni, la takuna, la takunna. So this is, uh, these are, uh, these charts are for Sarf Kabir of Kana. Uh, now the next one. Uh, uh, oh no, this is, a, uh, um, this is the light and lightest form. So in light form, you have fata in the uh, afalul arba, five in your pocket. Yakuna, takuna, uh, takuna, akuna, nakuna. So instead of dhamma at the end, in these uh, five afal, you have fata in light form. And noon is gone for uh, in, in other form. In afalul khamsa, the noon, Noon is gone. Yakun, instead of yakunani, now you have yakuna. Inst instead of yakununa, you have yakunu. Okay, so this is light form and then the lightest form. Light In lightest form, again, uh, noon is not there, but uh, these afal, uh, the five in your pocket or the afalul arba, they have sukun at the end in the lightest form. 
instead of dhamma in the regular you would see um, sukun yakun takun takun akun nakun okay now again pause the video and say this chart two times so you become familiar with this with this form okay now the next okay so this is the slide for asbaha past tense asbaha asbaha asbahu asbahat asbahata asbahna okay so asbahta asbahtuma asbahtum asbahti asbahtuma asbahtunna asbahtu asbahna so this is present um, uh, sorry past tense then present tense yus bihu here you have dhamma in the beginning in the beginning why because asbaha yus bihu is is fa from family 4 okay asbaha yus bihu is from family 4 that's why yeah, you have dhamma here in the um, uh, in the present form so uh, here just uh, pause for a moment and think about the ismukana yusbihu and tusbihu these are hua form okay so it uh, they can have hua or hia as inside doer so hua and hia are uh, the ismukan ismu asba here but in the sentence yusbihu and tusbihu are two form uh, and asbaha and asbahat are two form that can have outside doer outside doer as well so there can be an ism which is in rafa status as an outside doer for asbaha or asbahat or uh, yusbihu or uh, tusbihu but for yusbihani asbaha asbahata all these have um, have uh, the doer with them these form these all these form let me let me mark them with the the marker these form have ismu asbaha within them okay within them This alif is the ismu asbaha. This vow, vowel jama, this alif musanna is uh, alif uh, musanna is the doer of the um, the um, fail, and this is ismu asbaha. This vow is ismu asbaha. This tautanis is ismu as. Uh, as here uh, uh, it can be an inside for with the here it can be inside or outside. This asbahata as again, this alif musanna is the ismu, uh, ismu asbaha. In asbahna noon niswa, this noon niswa is the ismu asbaha. Is in asbah tuma, tuma, the this the mir mutasil tuma is uh, ismu asbaha. This here antum is the ismu asbaha. Anti is ismu asbaha. Antum uh, antuma is ismu as, uh, asbaha. And tunna. Antunna. Okay. So that's how you are going to analyze uh, when you uh, do um, when you analyze the sentence with the uh, with these afal afal nafasa. Okay. So the same goes with the uh, with kana also. If you have kana, kanu, kanata, or uh, kudna, uh, you uh, you you are going to label the same way. Okay. So this is uh, surf kabir of asbaha. light and the lightest form again pause the video and say two times then 
we are uh, coming to Laisa, uh, another uh, another um, uh, Felinakis. But with Laisa, we don't have present tense uh, conjugation. In for Laisa, we don't have present tense conjugation because Laisa uh, is the verb that says is or or is not or are not. It is a though. In, uh, Grammatically, it's a past tense fail, but is always translated as present tense. So in the, uh, in the verb conjugation, there are no present tense light or lightest form for it, and ne uh, nor the commanding or for f forbidding. So only past tense uh, conjugation is there for Lysa, okay? And uh, another important, uh, these are notes for uh, uh, all uh, Afal Nakasa. So this is important. Let's go one by one. There's no passive form for Kana and her sisters. These are Afal Nakasa. So there's no passive form. Fele Mudare Majhul or Fele Madi Majhul. So no Majhul form, no passive form. And there cannot be two sukun together in a word. So the weaker letter, vow, alif, or ya. Weak letters, uh, lose up. They, they are dropped. Okay? And kana, you know, kana is the verb uh, to be. So uh, to be. And kana pl plus present tense. This is about translation. Inshallah, we are going to do tra translation, uh, how to translate these kind of sentences, inshallah, in the advanced section. So, kana plus, uh, if kana comes with present tense, then uh, the translation is uh, used to, used to do something, okay? And when yakuna comes, it needs other words to make a sen uh, sentence. And you know, asbaha means to become, okay? So, these are important notes. Uh, and uh, some other uh, sisters, Zalla, um, Zalla with uh, uh, past tense, Hua Zalla, Huma Zalla, Hum Zallu, Hia Zallat, Huma Zaddata, Hunna Zalilna. Anta zolilta, antuma zoliltuma, antum zoliltum, anti zolilti, antuma zoliltuma, antumna zoliltuna, ana zoliltu, nahnu zolilna. The same way, uh, mudare, hua yazulu, huma yazalani, hum yazuluna, yazaluna, hia tazalu, huma tazalani, hunna yazalna. The same way you are going to pause the uh, video and say this two times. Then we have mazala here, uh, past tense and present tense, and then madama. So these are the conjugations for uh, some very common afal um, nakasa, kana and its sisters. And this is the end of the lesson. Uh, uh, so today, to the, today's lesson is uh, we um, is confined to the conjugations because these are uh, uh, these conjugations are important to learn. So go through one by one, one by one. Pause the pause uh, each slide and say it two times. So so that you become. Uh, familiar with these forms. So here I'm uh, concluding this session with dua. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.